Hi, my name is Pranesh. I am a trader at Axia and welcome to my first stream. So I thought just to kick things off, I'm going to keep it super simple and I'm going to talk about my journey or my roadmap going forward. So really starting off as what I would say a rough diamond and creating a roadmap to hopefully shine at some point in the future. So let's go ahead. Okay, so as a trader, the dream is to become an elite trader. And you'd ask, what is an elite trader? So let me try and define it as I see it. So uh, we could say highly consistent. Um, trading respectable size. And maybe status. But what is the journey from what I would say a rough diamond to elite trader? Well, some people might think it's a straight line like this, which I don't think it is. But in reality, I think it's going to be more like this. Bit of a journey, but if you keep the end in sight, I'm pretty sure you can get there. So. I think before we start, I understand what an elite trader is, we have to start with the why, because I think the why becomes the how. So why is how? And I feel sometimes as the traders, we don't really define why we want to be a trader. So I thought it might be important for me in the early parts of my journey here at Axia to try and define exactly why I want to be a trader. So I put it down to three things. So, first of all, fun, freedom, and contribution. But what do these things mean? So for me, fun, I think trading has to be a fun pursuit. I mean, you've got to enjoy the game to really want to play it. Because sure enough, you can make a lot of money, but there will be down days, there will be periods where you suffer. So really, trading has to be a pursuit you see as a game and really enjoy playing. Because otherwise, I don't think you can have the, the substance to continue through like, the tough periods. So for me, I see trading as a fun game, which I enjoy to do. Even if I wasn't going to get paid, I still enjoy doing it. But ultimately, I want to get paid. Right, moving on to freedom. So what does freedom look like? I think as a trader, freedom means you have the freedom to do what you want. You have the freedom to travel when you want. Because you ultimately, you're, you're your own boss. You are an entrepreneur. So for me, that is a really powerful motive or, or a reason to want to be a trader. Because you have the freedom. So you want to travel, uh, work your own hours. Obviously, you're going to be working long hours. But have the freedom to ultimately do what you want to do in your life. And, uh, and I think with freedom, it gives you a bit more fuel to work through the harder times. Because I'm not the sort of person that would want to work for like another boss. And contribution. So what do I mean by contribution? So that might mean like once you become an elite trader, you might want to give to charity. You might want to maybe help friends and family, uh, build an orphanage or stuff like that. But also contribution in terms of maybe when you get to a stage, you can help younger traders as a mentor or, or back other traders. So that is a big driving force to becoming a great trader, I think. And again, this is just my idea of what, why, my why to become a trader. Cool. So, I will learn to switch over. There we go. Okay. So, the secret. What is the secret of being an elite trader? The how is consistent profit creation. Let me repeat that, consistent profit creation. That's it, it's that simple. That is the secret to being a great trader, consistent profit creation. But how do we consistently make profit? Now that is the million dollar question. How do we consistently make profit? Right. 
and how do we consistently switch slides? <laughs> okay, right. So the method, let me identify the method. And that is what I define as the what. So to be a consistently profitable trader, you have to identify and capture high conviction moments. It's really that simple. So our jobs as traders is to really be there to identify and capture high conviction moments. It's that simple. But what are these high conviction moments? So firstly, we'd have, I don't know, you might have like a technical setup. You might have central bank event, uh, certain news events such as comments, ECB sources, stuff like that. Uh, then we might have events such as OPEX, month end. So these are like high conviction moments where you want to be ready to react when you see them. And as I think as my job as a trader is to be able to identify each of these high conviction moments and have like strategies in place where I know how to react. And part of the growth curve from going from a rough diamond to like an elite trader is knowing what sort of strategy to employ at these key moments. And Alongside that, we talk about high conviction moments. In the markets, there's going to be a lot of low conviction moments, lots of times when the market's not doing anything. And as you learn, as you go with experience, you recognize that these are the moments where it's so easy to like lose yourself and lose money and do silly stuff where you actually you act into the detriment of your future performance. So not only are you identifying high conviction moments, you're also with experience learning to know when not to act in the low conviction moments. Right. Okay. So, this, my friends, is my roadmap to shine. This is what I'm doing to try to achieve mastery as a trader and trying to aim for elite trader status. So I've broken it down to three areas which I think you need to master. So first of all, design, macro, performance. So let's start with design. So what does design look like? For me, design is designing strategies Apologies for my handwriting. Strategy um, your systems and processes. So what do I mean by that? I think it's important that you design your open uh, your strategy, your open systems. So when you come in the open, what's, what is your process? What do you look at? What do you do? What do you do at the close? What are your processes there? What is your process of logging your trades? So really, we need to get creative in designing our whole ethos of being a trader. Your strategies, your systems, your processes, all this stuff comes down to design. So obviously, with strategy, you need to become an expert in market profile, in footprint, in ladders, and charts. So I put all this stuff down to design. Right, secondly, moving on to macro. And what do I mean by macro? So, that's more a case of understanding the yield curves, understanding what central bank policy is going on at the moment, understanding what's going on in the markets, the general sentiment, what are people saying, what are people doing? So you have to have like a feel for the markets from like a fundamental perspective to go with your technical perspective. Right, and that brings me down to the last Point, performance and I really feel that performance is something that many new traders put very little emphasis on whereas I think performance all these three are equally important 
but performance needs to be managed if you're going to be successful as an elite trader. So what does performance look like? So, it, your mind. What about your mind? I think as a trader, we have to have an understanding how the mind works. Because they say psychology is a massive factor in be, being successful. So you have to have strategies in understanding your mind and knowing how to react when your mind is not in the perfect state. Body. You have to have an underwear, awareness of your body. So that referring to things like sleep, nutrition, hydration. So you have to manage your body so you can be in an ideal trading state so you can perform at a high level. Let me repeat that. The whole objective is to perform at a high level. You have to have these strategies in place so you maintain your mind and body. Also, performance, again, relates to your systems and processes, but also logging. How well are you doing all these things? And then having strategies in place for you to improve your performance. So guys, these are the three things that I think are important as part of your, uh, my roadmap to shine. And these are the things which I am focusing on. But I think it's, it's a growth curve, so you can't master all three at the same time. You sort of like do a little bit here, do a little bit here, then do a little bit here. But, at the, but overall, looking to like master each one to high levels. So it's like, it's like a balance. You've got to get the balance right. You can't be a design master or a macro master and have really poor performance. So really, it's about trying to get that balance, the equilibrium, and recognizing your areas of weakness and strengths and trying to like complement each other. Right. Okay. So now we know what we need to do to become a master. How do you supercharge your growth? Well, that's where I think we need to do intelligent journaling. And it's very easy to get in the process of journaling where it sort of like takes over your life. And it's more important to think of it as like intelligent journaling, where you have an objective in mind of what you're trying to achieve when you journal. Because for me, like we said earlier, the whole objective is to identify and capture high conviction moments. So how can I journal through like Evernote or whatever you use Notion, so that I am in the future able to capture high conviction moments? So always, I'm always thinking, how can I do my journaling more effectively so it's going to help? And so it doesn't compromise with my trading performance. So I would say this is an area which I'm trying to spend more time on so that I spend less time on it, if that makes sense. Because it's so easy to spend time at your desk journaling while well, that's time taken away from you focusing on the markets and missing various opportunities. So for me, this is quite a key thing right now is to get the balance between trading versus journaling. Because it is about knowing how to spread yourself in the, equal, in the right sort of way so you're not spending too much time on the wrong things at the detriment of your trading performance. And I realized, one of the things I've realized that sometimes I spend too much time on my Evernote, journaling, and then I lose focus on the markets. And then when you lose focus on the markets, you're not in the right performance state to exploit the opportunities. And before you know it, it's gone. So yeah, intelligent journaling, I think is gonna be supercharged growth, but it has to work for you and not against you. I should like that, work for you, not against you. Okay, so in summary, we have, I have my compelling why, why I wanna be a trader. And then I know to become the elite trader, it's all about consistent profit creation. It's that easy. That's all I need to do is be a consistently profitable trader. And I achieve that by identifying high conviction moments in the markets. And to get to that level where I am able to identify high conviction moments, I'm looking, personally, this is my roadmap, to become a master in design, 
macro and performance. So all the stuff I'm doing is designed for me to become a master in these three areas. And then I see myself trying to supercharge this learning in these three areas through intelligent journaling. Right. I think that pretty much sums up what I'd like to say in my first stream. I hope it's made sense. And like I said, this is just my personal philosophy or viewpoint of what I want to be doing in terms of becoming a better trader. I'm still quite early on in the journey, so I'm always learning stuff. But I think as newer guys, newer traders coming into the game, it's important sometimes to have like a roadmap where you know what you're trying to achieve so that you have like, sort of like milestones, goals in, in, in mind before you attack it. Because it's so easy in this job to get lost and distracted by stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. Hope this is useful and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. If you find this video interesting, if you want to go deep into the Axia training method and how a trading team of seven figure traders develop setups and strategies and how they learn to build the most profitable trades across all market environments, then join me in this workshop. Now in this workshop, you're going to learn three powerful steps we use to train all our traders on both our London and our Poland trading desk to help build incredible levels of consistency. How to predictably understand which setups work and which don't. You're going to learn our two main strategies for how we perfect our trade timing before we enter every single trade. You're going to learn the VEL concept, which is our one and only technique we use to leverage our largest trades. You'll also learn how to avoid trading setups that don't work, how to avoid those large losses, and our main method we use to identify them that saves our traders significant amounts of capital. Finally, you will learn how our traders use the power of network learning to find market patterns quicker than ever before, so you shortcut that learning curve. In the workshop, we want to program your awareness of elite performance, to program your ability to choose the right setups, and program your ability to be a consistent trader. So the trades that you execute become more simple and clearer. And I can tell you this, you'll never see the markets the same again. You'll never look at the markets with a narrow view of getting lost in all the noise and confusion. You'll take your first step towards a deep edge market awareness. I cannot wait for you to join me in this workshop. And I think you're in for a massive paradigm shift in your understanding of how to develop as a trader. So join me by clicking on the top right hand corner of the screen and sign up for this powerful training workshop or visit EliteTraderWorkshop.com.